Morning. Today I'm outside with the DJI Neo, and we're going to look at the automated flight modes called Smart Snaps or Quick Shots. The same thing, and these Quick Shots can be accessed from the front panel of the drone with the drone facing towards you. And we'll go through all of them in this video and see how easy they really are to use. To switch on the DJI Neo, you use the normal short and long press of the power button at the bottom of the drone. The Neo then goes through its normal starting or setup procedure and you'll see the lights flashing. On the front of the drone behind the camera are six small icons and a button. These icons are the different smart snaps or quick shots that you can scroll through pressing the button on the front of the drone. These can also be called automated flight modes. Let's press the button a few times and scroll through the various flight modes. Just look out for the lights as they come on. When you're flying the Neo, the drone needs to be facing towards you, the camera needs to be facing you, so the AI technology can pick you up and then start the different modes that you've selected. Follow. Drony. Circle. Rocket. Spotlight. Direction track. This is the called Follow Me. I press the button again. Direction track. Follow. If I now press this now. Medium. Follow. Three, two, one. And as I walk around, it should follow me. When it follows you, it tries to stay behind you. And you can see it's right behind me now. And to go and collect the drone and bring it down, if I pull my hand out up here, it just lands on your hand. The next one I use quite a lot is Spotlight. And that's where the drone stays completely still in one location. And you can move around it, walk away from it, and it'll track you and follow you. And Spotlight is a pretty good one. Let's hold this out first forward and then I'll press the button. Follow. Go. Drony. Circle. Rocket. Spotlight. Hold that now so it's got spotlight. Let's hold it there. Spotlight. Three, two, one. Okay. Now as I walk back you can see the drone is going to move around. If I now go over here, it's starting to track me. And it's also going back. And if we look on the screen, you can start to see it's targeted me and I can just walk around. I walk back, the drone stays in one position. You can see it. I walk around over here. I want to now stop, hold the band out. And then the drum that land. The other ones we can use are drony, circle or rocket. The circle goes, just goes around me in a circle. So now I'm doing a circle, it's gone out to two, three metres away from me and it's going to go round. You've got to be careful because it's got no collision avoidance so you've got to make sure that it doesn't fly into anything on the side. You can see it's sort of going round me now, coming round and completing the circle. There we go and then finished. Comes back in towards me, great. This time I'm going to have a go at rocket. Start. 
you can see it's now going to go above me and then come over me come over the top of me and then it's going to go up to about four meters and come back down there it comes now and down let's finish that one it was a little bit wary that one uh, that was rocket look at the drone I'll walk away over to the over to the far side now and we'll have a go at a drone And that records on the way out it's gone to four meters you can see it's bobbling around a little bit now and then it'll come back towards me and recording on the way back in as well so the drone records on the way out and the way in if i hold my hand out now it should just land good excellent works really well and the custom here I can actually have three different ones. I've got it set at directional track. Boomerang, Helix will work. Um, the directional track is tracking you from whichever direction you want it to track you, so, or where it, from where it starts. If I start the directional track out in front of me now, we'll, we'll put it at flat, press the button. Follow, Drony. circle. The paging Rocket. around the different things. Okay, that's the custom one that I've got set. Hold this down for three seconds. Direction track. Three, two, one. See, it takes off in front of me. If I now go backwards, it'll follow me. If I walk towards it, it'll track on back. And it's staying about three meters away. That's what it's set to do, as you can see. If I stand here now, people say, well, how can you get it back and how can you land it if it's in directional track? Well, there you put your, hold your hand out here. Landing. And it lands on your hand. You've got to hold your hand out first before you walk towards it. And then that's directional track. If I want to set up uh, something besides directional track, and let's have a look at um, directional track. Uh, going to custom I want to change the custom track I can go into let's have a look at helix and we'll do a four meter helix now if I now page round again you see it's changed to if I, it's gone to helix so I move from directional track to helix and we'll let's Look where we are, four meter helix. I'll come back over here, give myself a bit of room, and we'll press helix. Four meters, helix, three, two, one. The problem with these automated flight modes, or auto, what happens now, is the helix will go ahead. Now, I've got no way of aborting that helix. But it is, if I'm the center and I move, the helix will move with me. So you can see that's gone up quite close to the trees. It's coming back down. It could hit the building now. Don't hit the building, please. That's it, come back around, Helix. And now it's come back around. So when you're flying with these, you need a little bit more room, but there is no way of aborting the flight or pausing the flight. You don't have a pause button on this. And that's one of the problems with automated flight modes. On the app, you can have manual control using virtual sticks. I've just expanded the virtual stick so you see what I'm doing. So I'm pulling the right stick down slightly, which pulls the drone across, pushing the right stick forward, which brings the drone towards me. 
pulling the right stick down to take the drone away from me. I'm walking towards it now. And then I'm going to take the right stick to the right. So the drone. And look at the left stick and pull the left stick to the right. So the drone will yours to the right and then to the left and it yours back to the left. Now using the up and down arrow to move the camera angle up and down. Now using the virtual left stick to the right and then to the left. And you can see it's quite jerky and robotic when you use these virtual sticks. They aren't easy to control the drone in a smooth manner. I'm now going to pull the left stick to the left again and then back to the right. So it's yawing to the left and then to the right. I'm now going to pull the right stick down so the drone goes away from me. I'm now going to push the left stick up so the drone rises. To summarise, we've flown the drone under manual control in the app using the virtual sticks. And you can get these virtual sticks to pop up from the bottom to get into manual mode. Pull those up as well. You can see if I want the sticks up, I can have them up at the bottom, which is something they've just added with the latest firmware. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Bye for now.